I hate memoirs, I hate interviews, and I hate biographies. But I kind of like this book, and I want to help you decide if this book is for you or not. Daisy Jones and the Six is a book about a fictional rock band in the 70s and how they made their legendary album Aurora. It's written in the form of an interview or more of an oral history maybe, as there are no interview questions really, and the interviewer is transparent for the most part. It's just everyone telling their part of the story. Daisy Jones herself is an up-and-coming singer. The Six is the band that has released somewhat of a successful album, but to take them to the next level, their manager suggests they collaborate with Daisy, and then everything changes. Let's start with the first reason why you would love or hate this book, and obviously, it's the style. This is an unconventional style of fiction writing. You get each character's impression on the events that took place. The fun part is everyone remembers things as they want to remember, so there isn't an objective account of the story. There isn't a single point of view. You can imagine it as a multiple point of view book. It does look like an interview and it's formatted as an interview, but the way characters speak is closer to something between third person and first person limited. So in reality, people wouldn't remember dialogue that took place 40 years ago. For example, they would just say, I told her to leave and not, this is not working. I said, you don't love me the way I love you. You can't be here right now. She looked at me for a second. That's the problem. I was never able to convince you how much I loved you, she said. I mean, I'm making this up. The book has actually good dialogue, but you get the idea. The style is something closer to fiction writing than an actual verbatim interview, which is one reason why I was able to enjoy it, because as I said, I don't really like reading actual interviews. I like that it tries to do something different though. I like to be encouraging to authors who try different styles, who offer us different reading experiences. I'm open to new styles, all the time. And this is not like a crazy avant-garde style or anything. It's just unconventional. But if you're like me, I'm guessing you might enjoy this book. The second reason why you might love or hate this book is the characters. This takes place in the 70s. The characters are rock stars. There are certain types of people that you might expect to see. At times they might even get too stereotypical. Overall, I found the characters at least fun. Because I am a musician too, I was excited for them to be successful. I could relate to what was happening in their band dynamics. But also I write collaboratively all the time and my experience in writing songs with other people is completely different from what this book shows. The characters in this book can be incredibly selfish. There's a constant grudge. It has very similitude. It feels true because that's what you would expect for the dynamics of a 70s rock band but I'm not sure if it's authentic. There is a lot of drug use. Again, that's something I would expect to see in a 70s rock band. I don't know if it's authentic. If you don't want to see characters doing a lot of drugs, like they're eating candy, this book might not be for you. But the relationship between the characters, how they develop, how the characters interact with each other, their arcs, their ambitions, their goals, and what they care about are solidly written. I was able to feel for these characters and understand them apart from the stereotypes. Like there is the manager, there is the producer, the critic. It can get a bit too stereotypical, but I think especially the two main characters, Daisy and Billy, are complex enough. The third reason why you might love or hate this book is the plot. If you love mysteries and page turners and action-driven stories, and if you'd like to keep wondering what's going to happen next or anything like that, this book is not for you. The plot is very straightforward. There's a band, they're making an album, they go on tour, and this is an oral history of how this legendary album came to be. It feels very real, although this is not a real band. But like, there are full lyrics to the album and everything. It's very immersive. If you're intrigued by all the things that were going on behind the scenes between the characters though, this is the book for you. For example, why did the two lead singers stay apart the whole show in that one performance during the tour? you get to know why. Or how was that legendary cover photo taken? It has a super interesting story. In reality, the reasons are usually dull, but not in this book. The reasons why things happen are always somewhat satisfying. And again, it might have been more fun for me because I am a musician. You might be less interested in that kind of dynamic. But if you are interested in it, then you might like it too. And the last reason is a bonus reason why you might love this book is the audiobook. If you are into audiobooks, this audiobook has a full cast. 
they're great actors. It most definitely adds significantly to the experience. I don't think you can enjoy this book the same way if you just read it. It just brings that extra personality to it, especially because you don't spend time in the minds of the characters much. They're just speaking the whole time because it's an interview. So I strongly recommend you get the audiobook for this. It's a very short book, under 80,000 words. Apparently Amazon is developing a series for this book. Riley Q is going to be playing Daisy Jones. I don't think the rest of the cast is announced yet. It could be a lot of fun, they would need to write significant amount of material. You can't just directly adapt this book. They would need to write all the scenes. This book would serve mostly like a long detailed outline. But it should be a lot of fun to actually have the full songs. That's definitely going to be the most fun. They talk about the songs in such detail. You can almost hear what they sound like. And a full lyrics to the album already exists. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have a full album. It has great atmosphere. A 70s legendary rock band. Playing concerts in stadiums fans going wild and everything. I don't know, I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward to seeing the show. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the cast. And I'm guessing it's very early in development still, but I hope it turns out well. Anyway, I like this book and I recommend it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like to let me know. And if you'd like to see more numbered bookish lists, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goose, 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 goose,